Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. I'm so happy you're here, and I hope you enjoy these DIYs that I have for you. And this is probably going to be more towards my last full spring one. In fact, this one I kind of went more, um, uh, a little bit more farmhouse. For some reason, in farmhouse was just speaking to me. Sorry for the lighting, it's not the best. Um... If you like what you see, please give me a like down there below. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's get into these DIYs. DIY number one. So here, guys, I got this birdhouse. I got this from a garage sale last year. It's very worn. You can definitely tell they had it outside and everything. I gave it a good cleanup. I had to go back in with another baby wipe though because I missed a spot later on. Um, you know, I don't even think I recorded it. But I got this new color from, um, this one was from Upcycled by Brie. Um, but it's DIY paint and it's called Gypsy Green. <clears throat> and I decided that I was going to start painting the whole thing this Gypsy Green color. I ended up going back in with something else for the roof later on, and you'll see that. Um, I do actually have to go in with a couple different coats with this as well. Um, it does kind of have like a shiny um, coat over it to protect it from the weather and stuff. So I had to, I had to give it a couple of coats. After it was all all painted up, um, I got these off of Amazon, I believe. I've had it in my stash for a while. I don't even know if I've used them yet, but um, I just went through and I picked out a couple of sheets that I really liked. They do come two in a pack of each sheet, um, but it's just basically cardstock paper for... Uh, scrapbooking and stuff but I really liked the look of them and stuff so I grabbed these two sheets and I decided I was gonna do this paper for the roof so I go in with some Mod Podge and I'm just putting down um, this this paper is really thick so I actually put on a pretty healthy coat for it I started at the top with this one and I'm just working my way down. And I just, you know, try to get it to stick really well. And then on this side, I decided I was going to go from the bottom up. Just for a simple fact is the other one didn't have this uh, that pretty um, oh my gosh I'm drawing a blank on the or on the instrument for some reason anyway hopefully it'll come to me but um, I, I wanted I wanted the instrument in there so I decided I was going to go from the bottom up so I could get that in there <clears throat> trying to get it all to stick. Um, I didn't, like I said, this paper is really thick, so I didn't want to go over it with the sandpaper. Sandpaper probably would have been a lot easier than doing what I'm about to do, but I wanted to dry it a little bit so I wouldn't have any problems with, um, with like it ripping or anything on me, but I just grabbed my X-Acto knife and just trimmed as close as I could to that edge. For the most part it worked pretty well and I did go over it with sandpaper um, to get the the rest of the little little pieces of course this one would not be made for outside you'd have to actually put this one in your house because of the paper um, so after I got all that done, 
I just recently got these ILD molds. This one's the uh, bird song, I believe it's called. I did try it with some other clay that I had, and it, I don't know, the clay is, it just wasn't working. It was way too wet. Um, so I ordered some DAS clay off of Amazon, and that's what I'm using here. Um, I did, I don't have any cornstarch, but I did put um, some baking soda down, and baking soda works just as good, just so you guys all know. Um, but these are supposed to be pretty nice to come out with all the details and everything because of the lip. Like I said, this is my first time using it. I was actually having problems with the end of it getting really thin. Um, but I think that was just me trying to be, you know, less is more type thing. But that, like I said, that was probably on me. But it turned out really well. I'm, I, I liked it. Um, definitely, I'm gonna have to use more of these. But I thought it would be really pretty to have one of these little little birdies on the front of it. So that's where I was going with it. And I went in with some uh, this is uh, De Gorilla, uh, Gorilla uh, Super Glue. And I am doing this while it's wet. It's not dry. Once that was all stuck down, I went in with some uh, sky blue, I think it is. I just wanted to give him a little, I don't know, like a baby bluebird kind of look. So I'm going in with a little bit of that. I just gave him a good healthy coat. And I do let this dry overnight. Um, I go in with uh, some of these transfers after everything was dry. Just picking out ones that I like. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But I ended up going with some more of these little flowers. I'm cutting them apart. I, I wanted the flowers to be more on here, but I did want some of that wording, so I do think I put some of that wording up above it. So now it kind of looks like the birds is diving for the flowers. Boy, I should have cut more of this out, you guys. Oh, that's right. I go in with a number, too. For some reason, I've been really into numbering my birdhouses. I just think it gives it a cute little cute little detail like you'd have on a regular house. So this one, I decided I was going to go in with number one. I do think I go in with some of that other writing, too. That Yep, there we go. I should have cut more of this out, though. So this is just the piece that I cut off the bottom. I 
And there you guys have it. Tell me guys what you guys think down on the on the description box below. DIY number two. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got this at a thrift store um, a long time ago for $2.50. I've had it in my stash forever. Um, and I've had one of these signs before. Not like the llama sign, but I mean I've made one of these signs before. This is before I was... Um, on YouTube and it went over well so I figured I'd make another one so I just painted it with some crimson red and I have a bunch of these little stencils that I got from Amazon I've had these in my stash forever again and I'm just gonna go and do some stenciling here with a little pouncy brush little piggy these stencils come with a whole bunch. There's some with uh, words that say cluck and moo and everything. And then there's a barn and um, farm fresh and and stuff like that. There's a little cow and a little chicken and ones with little eggs and stuff. There, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, I don't have any links because like I said, this has been a long time. But if you just go on Amazon and you search stencils, you guys, you will come up with a whole bunch of stencils. And you can even go farmhouse stencils. You can be a little more specific. And you'll come up with a whole bunch of them. So here now I'm going with some lettering. And this is all old school, you guys. I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to play around with some of my stuff. Um, granted, I have a Cricut. I could have made lettering for this. And made it a lot easier on myself but sometimes it's just fun just to you know go in with some good old stencils and that's basically just what I did this time so I'm just going along the alphabet choosing the letters that I want and just lightly dabbing these you have to really make sure that you don't have a whole lot on your brush because they will um, you know they will bleed under the stencil and stuff so just kind of watch how much you have on your little pouncer or stencil brushes or whatever you're using I am drying them lightly in between too, so I'm not um, disturbing the, the paint either, as you kind of saw there. And here I'm going in with a paintbrush, a very uh, small paintbrush. And I'm just um, kind of hiding the gaps in between where the stencils are and stuff, just so it looks more co cohesive. I don't, I don't know. I didn't want it to look like. I mean, I wanted to make it look more farmhouse and old, so I wanted to look like I used stencils, but I didn't want it to make it look like I used stencils. If that makes any sense. I probably should have cut out more of this too, you guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't realize 
um, how slow it sometimes is or how much I have in here until it's until I'm doing the voiceover. Um, I think I kind of more just wanted you guys to see like the you know like the whole stencil process but you forget how long the stencil process can be. I did skip the heart, I guess. But as you guys can't tell, it says, Don't go bake in my heart. And I've actually, like I said, made one of these signs in the past. Um, right now, I'm going over it very roughly with some DIY dark wax. Just to give it more of a rustic, dirty look. I liked the slats and stuff. It kind of makes it look like barn wood in a way. So... It's kind of my way of of stressing it out and stuff like that, but I could I do think I went over it with some um, sandpaper too and stretched it up a little bit. But there you go, DIY number three. Now please don't come after me in the comments. I did paint this rooster. Sometimes people really like the colors and stuff of your roosters before you paint them, but. I bought him to be painted over. I've had him in my stash for a long time as well. I'm trying to stash, or I'm trying to stash, oh! I'm trying to, um, you know, get through some of my stash. I got so much stuff. But here I'm going in with some Farm Fresh uh, DIY paint again. And then I go in with some uh, clear wax. And then some white wax and I'm just going to white wax him. I I don't think I showed the the uh clear wax just because it's the same process but um the white wax will help you um just be able to move your white wax all around a little bit more. I think I said that right. Your clear wax helps you to move your white wax around a little bit more. Um, you don't need a clear wax to seal your DIY paint. If you just have white wax, it'll work. Any waxes will work. And if you do not have waxes, you can use some, some kind of sealer or anything like that. But DIY paint definitely needs to be sealed when you use it because it will reactivate in water. So as you can see, I am just covering this lovely little rooster and just trying to bring out all of his little details and all of his feathers and everything. I'm telling you, I had to put like two and a half coats on him just because I was missing spots. He was so hard to cover. But he has a lot of details. And then I went with these two little hens. I got these at a thrift store as well. These ones I think actually came from um, Boys and Girls Club when I went. I think the rooster actually came from um, the other thrift store that I go to. The uh, Oh, why am I drawing a blank? The, it's it's a combined uh, a, mm, I cannot think of the name of it why can't I think of the name of it anyway um, I'm, I'm just going over these with um, with uh, boy today has been bad for words jeez louise um I just went over them with White Swan by DIY. And right now I'm going over with clear wax to seal my paint in. 
<clears throat> and since I have these in white, I decided I would go over these with some dark wax. After they're all dry. And I'm pretty sure you guys didn't need me to show you both of these going over with white wax. But of course, I did. So here we got the dark wax. And less is more, you guys. You honestly don't need all that much. This stuff goes a long ways. But here I'm just painting it on and then wiping it off. It really just darkens it. I thought this looked pretty cute, especially with the rooster next to it. And it really brings out all those details. It makes it look farmhouse and a little rustic and dirty like it's been sitting for a while. and just turns out really nice. As for my favorite, I think I'd probably have to say the little don't go bake in my heart sign, even though I've made them before. Don't know why I like that one, but I do. Let me know down below, guys, which ones you enjoyed watching. Like I said, I'm trying to get through some of my stash. I've been going, uh, 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 biscuit. Sorry, if you hear my dog in the background, she hears someone barking out, or another dog barking outside, so she's probably going to start barking. So I apologize for that. Um, but, I, like I said, I've been trying to go through my stash. I have been trying to stay out. Hey! I've been trying to stay out of the thrift stores just because I have so much, but shush, shush, biscuit, hush. But here you go, guys. This is what they all look like, and now we got the final reveal. Let me know down below, guys. Oh, yeah, I did add the little white heart to you guys. I don't think I showed that. I think my camera shut off, but I added a little white heart onto the little pig where his heart would be kind of but let me know down below guys what you guys think um let me know what you guys what your guys's favorite is which one you would rather create and and what you guys would like to see in the in the future DIY chant or future DIYs let me know what you guys would like to see Ugh. if you guys want more um more content for like farmhouse or French country or whatever you know let me know down below what you guys are into I really like to hear what you guys have to say I love your comments please don't forget to like this video just push the little like button down quit it just please push the little like button down here if you like hearing me argue with my dog and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. I'd love to have you a part of the family. God bless, and I hope everybody has a fantastic Easter. Bye!